What is going on, you sexy mofos? Today's a wonderful day in LA. I'm even wearing shorts, which no one should ever be a witness to. I'm Alejandro, and let's talk about cars, yo. So hit it, Pedro. My sexy mofos, in today's episode of Let's Talk About Cars, we're gonna talk about the brand new 2018, 2019 Rolls Royce Phantom. Oh man, deliciousness. We were just invited to the unveiling for customers to the Rolls Royce Phantom because now they're taking orders for the new car and we were there and we got the scoop for you guys. But before starting the video guys, I'm wearing the swipe hat. If you are a badass motherfucker, go get her and want one of these for free, make sure to like this video, be subscribed to the channel and also comment down below if you would buy the car that I'm about to talk about at the end of the video if you had the means or if you have it. So if you do, please let me know and also why. Thank you very much for that. So without any further distractions or any more bullshit, let's get to the Phantom. They've been working on this car for about eight years now and the time has come, they're releasing it. So the car is gonna be released on the first quarter of 2018. It's gonna be on the streets for customers. Uh, you're gonna see a few test models around November driving around for customers to test out the car, reviewers to test it out and give their, their two cents on it. Uh, so that's, it's getting really, really close. And the reason why they opened that event that I went to was because they're taking orders right now. And uh, am I placing an order? I'm not entirely sure yet. I need to go talk to Danny because I want the Cullinan really, really bad, but this Phantom is unbelievable what they did to it. And also another thing that they're doing to it that I really liked is they're not just gonna send cars over to every single dealership for them to have. They're just gonna make cars on order and customers order, not dealer orders. That means if a car doesn't have an owner, it's not getting built. So that helps a lot with the prices. When Lamborghini had that problem with the Aventador when they were not making enough cars and the supply was limited and every car that landed had an owner, the values were high, high up in a car that depreciates like a motherfucker. So that shows you Rolls Royce is taking the right approach in this one. Also, two versions are available already for order one, the regular version and also the extended wheelbase version, which is nine inches bigger than the other ones. And I think that's actually a joke within a dick joke. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So let, let's get to it. Let's get to the outside immediately. The first thing that you're going to see when you look at the car is that big grill. The grill looks so much more imposing than before. The presence of the car is something that they worked on really, really hard to, to, uh, be able to accomplish. Now the car does look like the Phantom right now with subtle changes and these subtle changes to the lines that they added into the tail and to the headlights to the tail lights make a massive difference it looks if you will because i can't show you anything obviously we couldn't take pictures but i'm going to describe it to you guys uh the the car actually looks like a very modern version of today's phantom for the future but it's here today and i think that's going to make it look timeless it's honestly one of the most beautiful cars i've ever seen one of the most beautiful cars i've ever seen in my life it, it was that impressive i never wanted a phantom before mind you i have a phantom drop head but I never wanted the four door because it's just too, it just feels too formal. But that, that was just so sexy and fun and elegant, I don't know, and so unique and it feels artsy at the same time. So the outside that they worked on is delicious. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I cannot wait for the world to uh, uh, look at it. That's what she said. Another thing outside that they added was the shark fin antenna. So just like the seven series, yes, they did it. Uh, they added that shark fin antenna, which makes the car look really, really badass. And at the same time, it's gonna improve the radio system way, way more than the actual ones that we have right now, which is complete garbage. So I welcome that one. And on that joke alone, this is gonna be a standalone platform for Rolls Royce. So every single car that they're gonna release from now on is gonna be based on this platform. It's gonna be a unique platform designed for it, not shared with all of the BMW. BMW platform. So just know that this is going to be a Rolls Royce and a Rolls Royce only BMW parts. Absolutely. But it's made for Rolls Royce. Cool feature from the outside, the doors, which you normally can close in a Rolls Royce with a button right here. Uh, you're going to have that button outside. So the moment you get out of the car, you're going to be able to just press the button. And as the door is open and it'll close. Ah, oh, that is such a cool thing to do. So think about it like the Model X, but with a button. So when you're walking away from an explosion, that's kind of like the look you're gonna have. Also, they added the uh, closed door button for the front doors, which is genius because these don't have it and it's kind of weird knowing that it's in the back but not here. And when you have a Wraith and you open and then you get into one of these, it gets confusing. Oh yeah, I know rich people problems. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but that, that's gonna look really, really cool. Also, they added another thing on the outside that you won't probably see, but it makes a big difference is they added foam to the tire so they can reduce the noise 
uh, from the outside transferring transferring into the car through the tires. If you've ever driven on a freeway, you know how big of a difference it makes depending on what you're riding on, how much noise gets into the cabin. This is gonna completely isolate the cabin for, from it. So that's exactly what Rolls Royce focuses on, which is luxurious cruising around. That's gonna be as quiet as it gets, so you can only imagine. And also the outside, another thing that you won't be able to see right off the bat if you're looking at the car, the, the headlights, the high beams are gonna be lasered and you can only activate them over 40 miles an hour. Why? Because you know, you don't want people just taking advantage of them in uh, small neighborhoods and flashing other people into accidents, if you will. So uh, that's another great one. But I don't wanna bore you with more outside. Let's go into the technical specs. There's a camel right there, BMW truck. It's like the theme. There you go, test mule. Uh, Let's jump into the inside because performance obviously was affected greatly here. And for the first time ever, Rolls-Royce is introducing a V12 twin turbo on their Phantom series. And this is gonna be a great thing because there's no lag anymore in these turbo engines. It's gonna produce 125 horsepower more than the uh, standard Phantom from the past and also more torque. I don't have the figure of torque right off, off the bat, so I apologize for it. But just know it's gonna be way more powerful, smoother, power is gonna be available, and torque is gonna be there for you at all times. Another very interesting thing that they did is they added rear wheel steering to the car, which I thought was a performance enhancer for cars, but now they explained to me that if you're cruising on, on low speeds and making a turn, the, the tires on the back are gonna counter opposite the ones on the front so that you can have a better turn ratio. But, but, and this is a big one, if you're going fast on the freeway and you wanna switch lanes, normally it's a two move thing, right? So you would get into the right lane and then straighten the car to make your lane change. But this, with the rear steering at high speeds, it's actually gonna steer with the car. So whenever you're going to the right, the car is actually just gonna make the move straight and go straight. So it's only one move rather than two moves. I know it doesn't sound like mind boggling, but it is. It is if you're a drive, if you know how this is gonna affect the driving those big cars, Mwah, mwah, mwah. Rolls, thank you so much for that. And the one biggest upgrade to me in that car is gonna be the, the suspension. They're making the suspension, the air suspension that they have, 25 to 35% better. How are they gonna accomplish that? Because this is the appealing thing about these cars, the suspension, how smooth it is. You don't feel the road at all. And adding that to the car is just gonna add another layer of deliciousness to the ride. So I cannot wait. But all the technical data aside, Let's jump into what really matters, the interior of these cars, because that's where you live, that's where you're sitting, the cabin, that's what you're paying the big bucks from, because everything is deliciously made, the materials are insane. There's not one place where you're gonna look in that car and say, ah, they could have done a better job in this one. It was completely addressed, all the shitty electronics from 2002 were completely removed, and everything is top of the line, latest technology. So your navigation, your cruise control, your everything is the latest technology that you can possibly find in the cars. Let's go one by one. So. First thing you're gonna notice is when you're sitting in the driver's seat, the dash right here is gonna be a digital dash. It's got gauges, so it's got the outline for the gauges, and even though it's digital, it looks classy. I'm just gonna run through these real quick because we're gonna talk more about this in the podcast. So there's gonna be a link down below for you to check out the podcast and listen to everything about this car just so that we can get this out. Also, we talked about putting foam on the tires. They added a layer of foam up here. I can't remember if it's 2.5 inches or uh, the exact measurement that it is, but obviously what that does is it isolates the noise from the cabin even more so you're not gonna get it from the tires you're not gonna get it from the outside it's gonna be so quiet you're gonna be able to hear your own thoughts and speaking of the roof right here for the first time ever in the Phantom they're gonna be able to do a full starlight like this one all the way to the back because the current Phantom right now it kind of cuts off and it looks super weird but that looks delicious also, another gimmicky thing they added on the back, which I've never seen before, is a footrest that electronically races on the back. So if you're sitting on the back seat, rather than something coming up on your calves like this, like a regular chair, uh, this thing has it on the floor. So underneath the mat, you, you'll press a button and it'll race. And you would think that's not gonna make a difference, but it's world changing. Like my, my, my concept of reality got fucked after looking at that because that is the right way of sitting. So. Look out for that one, that's an interesting one, which is such a subtle thing, but so genius. Another thing they added was 360 cameras, and it's not just like your bird's eye point of view camera that you can see from every car now. You literally have cameras that will monitor anything that's happening around your car from the inside. So if you open the door, you'll be able to see people approach it and all that shit. It's bonkers. Another technology exercise in this car, which I haven't seen yet, is you can find your car through the app. 
So basically, there's a little selection in the dash, in the in the screens that says find my car. So it'll let you know where your car is at all times, which is super creepy and very good for your wife. Another thing that was completely addressed that really bothered me was the massage seats. The massage seats in the current rolls are terrible, terrible. It feels like a hamster is spitting on you. But now this is proper. It has different levels. If you want it on your shoulders, your lower back, your top back, uh, uh, your higher back, right here on uh, on your ass. Like what? whatever you want, the car will do for you. So as far as massage goes, and it makes a big difference because when you're riding something so comfortable, so delicious, you want the best. And that, I think that system that they just added was the best they could possibly add. So on the back, the AC is independent now. So instead of having it right here, you're gonna have it on the side. So right here on your armrest, you're gonna have your AC controls and they look so amazing. And also they're very, very intuitive and the position is perfect for them. So that's another thing that I never thought about that is really well done in that car. And for those who like to enjoy life, way more than us not only your champagne will be on the back but also it has a liquor cabinet at the bottom of it where you can just literally pull your vodka your whiskey whatever the hell you drink throw it in there and be ready for that so your champagne and your heart liquor containers check also on the back you have a screen and the tables that are electric now so whenever you press a button those both will come out by themselves and the screens have the latest like i said technology so that is great. And the most insane thing they did to that car is adding the gallery. And the gallery, guys, if you think of a piece of glass that goes all across your dash and hides art behind it, is the greatest thing to ever happen to those Rolls Royce ever. And I know it sounds stupid and I know it doesn't have any functionality, but this is a piece of glass, literally. It's so well sealed. Rolls Royce had to build like a room where they created these so no particles can get into the gallery and get stuck in there. So they had to do this whole thing to create that. And I am not describing it properly and I'm not doing it justice, but that is one of the greatest and coolest features in that car because it's gonna let you customize it so uniquely. Right now the gallery has like eight to 10 different things you can add, but you can personalize yours too however you want it. And that is gonna be a big, big thing. So anyways, guys, what do you think of the brand new Rolls Royce Phantom? Is that for you? Is it not for you? It is for me, and I love it. Uh, if you catch me on Salamandri.com when this video is released, I immediately go there and reply to everyone and all of your questions. So uh, uh, thank you so very much for joining me today. It's been a fucking pleasure. I'm 100, and I do not approve this message. Peace.